Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren. Hey guys, it's Dr. Kelsey. We're back today to talk to you from the Denver Naturopathic Clinic about a topic that's a little bit more serious, uh, but we think it's really important. So. so one of the things that is a little bit confusing in the alternative health industry is the difference between a naturopath and a naturopathic doctor. So we're gonna break it down for you and clear up some of that confusion. Because these are actually two very different professions. Mm -hmm. And some, some people, like very often, even, even among ourselves, we're like, well, why should this matter, right? Like, isn't it just two different terms for the same thing? And it's actually not. These are two very different things. So let's just start with talking about naturopaths. So a naturopath is any person who has taken it upon themselves to learn more about the natural healing modalities and um, they might offer health consultations to people in their area. Right. Um, these are, this is not a regulated profession, so that's really important to know, which means that um, one, not only is it not regulated, there also is no licensing exam. So the people who practice as naturopaths are not credentialed. Mm -hmm. um, because of that, because it's not considered an actual doctoral degree, um, it is not legal for naturopaths to diagnose and treat somebody. So that's really important. So they can do health consultations, they can talk about research or supportive knowledge that they have, but they cannot actually order lab work, uh, interpret it, diagnose a patient, or prescribe uh, treatment recommendations. They also, the naturopaths also don't have a licensing exam, and they may or may not have attended a two-year unaccredited college. So just a little bit less education, or like we said before, self-educated. Right, and a lot of the programs too that are out there are distance learning or online programs, mm -hmm. um, which is another big difference from naturopathic doctors, which we'll get to in a second. But um, with distance learning, it's gonna be more lecture formatted or book formatted, and there's not gonna be the same kind of like hands-on patient clinical education. Mm -hmm. So many of the people that are practicing as naturopaths um, have very good intentions and are just wanting to get that knowledge out there to help their community, uh, but they do lack the training of a formal naturopathic doctor, which we'll talk about next. Yeah, so naturopathic doctors have extensive graduate level education at an accredited um, college or university that's nationally accredited and recognized. Um, and our training is based in clinical training. Right, so we're gonna have more of that hands-on, face-to-face, mm -hmm. -face patient care training with supervision throughout our entire time that we spend in graduate school. Uh, naturopathic medicine is a regulated profession, although that does vary state by state. So that, that's another thing that we can talk about more specifically with patients, but it, our, our scope and our, our credentialing changes across the country. Um, but we do sit for two licensing exams. So that is another big difference between naturopaths and naturopathic doctors is we have to sit for two different board exams throughout our education. And we actually have to pass those exams in order for a state to grant us our license to practice. Or registration. To or practice. registration to practice. Um, and a little bit more on the education, mm -hmm. we have talked about this previously in another video, but just to remind you guys again that our education does include the basic biomedical sciences, so anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, we do hands-on learning in the gross or cadaver lab um, so that we can best learn anatomy um, of the body in person, yeah, yeah. live, um, and then we're also trained in pharmaceutical management. Um, and then the naturopathic doctor specialties such as botanical medicine, uh, homeopathy, physical medicine, clinical nutrition, lifestyle counseling. Um, and those are modalities that show up in other alternative health fields. Um, we just have more extensive training in them and have the biomedical sciences as well. Right. So, you know, th there's more about this that we're always happy to talk to you guys about. But, you know, I think there's a lot of providers out there. There's a lot of people out there that are trying to provide care and provide knowledge. And we're all about that. You know, mm -hmm. one of our principles is is doceri or the doctor's teacher. So we just want to make sure that you're educated so that when you go out to try to make a decision as to which kind of person you want to see, you have a little bit more knowledge behind that. You know how to determine which qualifications you're looking for and you know what questions to ask to make sure you're seeing the provider you want to see. Yep. 
So thanks for tuning in. Yeah, we hope that was helpful. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.